Now, how do I implement this logic, this feature, where a click on a truncated summary text is going to expand the full text in place? There are a couple of things we need to do. First of all, I need to hold on to the full text. Right now, I'm truncating it. So I cannot just lose the full text. I need to hold on to it somewhere so that when the click happens, I replace this dot post dot summary back with that full text. Right now I'm replacing it with the truncated text. So let me hold on to it in a member variable. I'm going to create a full summary member variable, which is a string. And here before I truncate the text, I'm going to hold on to that full text. This dot full summary equals this dot post dot summary so that after I truncate, uh, I still have that full text. I haven't lost it. And when I click on this description, I want that full thing to be replaced. Well, that's the next challenge. How do I do that? The way to do that is by adding a click handler to this paragraph. So this is the paragraph which contains the summary. And to this paragraph, I want to hand, I want to add a click handler. What the click handler is going to do is call a method, call a function of the component class. And I want that component class to have a function which expands the summary, right? I'm gonna create a function called expand summary on the component class, and I'm going to add a click handler which calls it. And in that function, I'm going to put that old full summary back to this variable, okay? And because we are doing this template expression, there is data binding that's happening. And whenever the backing data changes, the view changes automatically. Okay, so I'm gonna add a click handler. How do I add a click handler? I can do a click equals and then a function name show full summary. But here's the thing, this is not an HTML click. This is an Angular click. You wanna tell Angular to use the show full summary method on my component. So let's say I create this method here, right? I create a function called show full summary. And then here is where I do that text replace. I'm gonna tell Angular that this should be something on the component class. You remember when we wanted to tell Angular to, let me go back to the blog list thing here. So when we told Angular to not to look at this literal value, but to look at a property on the component class, we used this bracket, square bracket. For function calls, you wanna use the parentheses. This is the convention to tell Angular that you want this to be an event that needs to call this function, right? We're gonna talk about the output in the subsequent video, but remember that when you're dealing with member variables that hold data, you're gonna be using this square bracket like this. And when you're dealing with event handlers, where what you're doing is not looking up data, but calling a method. The flow of data is going from the template to the component class, then you need to do parentheses. Think of it as two directions of flow. In this case, data is flowing from the component class to the template, so you're doing the square bracket. And in this case, the flow of control is going from the template to the component class. When somebody clicks on the template, you want the component class to do something, so it's the other way around, but you're gonna have the parentheses. More about that in a subsequent video, but now, when you do this, you're telling Angular to call this function on the component class when somebody clicks on it. All right, so I'm gonna save this. Now I'm gonna need to implement the show full summary. Now what do I need to do here? What I need to do is put that full summary back to this dot post dot summary. That's all there is to it. I need to just flip this particular statement. And now when this function is called, somebody clicks on it, the summary is gonna be populated with the full summary which we had kind of backed up before. And then when somebody clicks on this paragraph, the flip is gonna happen. Now let's test this out. I'm gonna click on this, and now you see the full summary is displayed. When I click on this, nothing happens because the full summary is equal to the truncated summary. This is within the 30 characters. So this is the benefit of moving this to the component. You remember we moved the truncate by transform from the template to the component. 
This is the benefit of it. We can hold on to that in a variable and then do the truncate. You can technically do this with the pipe handling this in the template as well. You would have to maintain state. You would have to maintain is full summary displayed, yes or no. And based on that, you would have to do something like an NGF or handle that in the in the template. But this, I feel, is a more elegant way of handling that in this particular case. So in the process, you also learned how to do click handling.